I'll make you a bet. I'll bet you Bonnie has never put on a snorkeling mask and fins since 1979. Why, you ask? Because I took her out for a snorkeling lesson in La Jolla Cove one fine summer day, and that is a fun-filled moment she is still trying to forget. You see, we got our gear on and walked out into the water and then swam away from shore, kicking slowly with our legs. I held on tightly to Bonnie's hand to help her resist the urge to paddle with her arms. There we were, face down in the ocean, breathing through our snorkels, looking through our masks, admiring all the lovely sea creatures, or at least I was, and I couldn't understand why Bonnie kept on tugging at my hand. Relax, Bonnie. Just enjoy the scenery. You don't need to paddle with your arms. But she pulled harder, and I held on tighter. It was a real tug-of-war. Finally, I looked over at her, and the only way to describe the look in her eyes was sheer terror. Now, I didn't get it at first, but finally I realized she was trying to say, I'm drowning! <laughs> but of course, she couldn't yell for help because she was too busy gulping down gallons of seawater. You see, her mask was leaking, the snorkel wasn't working, and she couldn't breathe. She was, in fact, drowning. So I let go of her hand, and she thrashed to the surface, and finally got a breath of air, followed shortly by upchucking her lunch when we got back to the beach. Well, we rested for a while, and then I asked her if she wanted to go back out and give it another try but she really wasn't too interested in snorkeling at that point. So anyway, sorry, Vaughn. It's too bad you were traumatized, but hey, check out the Discovery Channel. You can see all sorts of lovely underwater beauty, and you never even have to put a mask on. <laughs>